Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I will share with you some of the aromatherapy, aromatherapy, blah, 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 aromatherapy stuff that I use to relax. So this is my Bath and Body Works haul. It's not really a haul, I guess. It's not that much, I feel like, but oh well. Yeah, let's see. But well, I have this stuff that I have bought previously, actually, and this one was just like from one run today. So all the other stuff have like almost run out, but this one is sleep. So lavender and vanilla, it's for a nice warm bath. My mm, mother-in-law actually suggested this to me. I have yet to try it. I'm actually excited because I do like the smell and that's the reason why I actually have this. It's the body lotion and I'm almost out so I actually bought more of this. I have one in my bathroom so when I had a tiring day and I want to have a good night's sleep I will usually use this body wash. If I have time I'll give no, I'll take a nice warm bath. And so initially, I only had this two. I wanted this one because it's glass. So I felt like it looked fancier. But then, now that it is almost out, I realized that, well, this one is almost out. I just realized that it's difficult to like get the remaining stuff off it. Yeah, they look nicer because they're made of glass, but I feel like a lot of product get lost inside or like, you know, wasted, get waste, wasted, whatever. You know what I mean? Okay, so yeah, because of that, when I went today, I decided to just get this, okay? So this one is a body cream and I realized, yeah, I think with the dry weather here in Utah, a body cream is better, especially we're transitioning to fall and it's after fall will be winter so definitely need a um cream more than a lotion i have yet to study but i do remember that <laughs> a cream is more moisturizing than a lotion i forgot the percentages i should know that as a pharmacist but i do not i do not teach module 5 in the philippines which is the dosage form and those stuff are in there Anyway, so whenever I want to get a good night's sleep, this is something that I would recommend you guys try to have. I had the normal price. I got this at the normal price. It sucks. It's at thirteen dollars and fifty cents. Um, I got this one at a normal price too. It's sixteen dollars and fifty cents. But my mother-in-law gave me a twenty percent discount coupon, so thanks. <laughs> and this too. Obviously, they came from this box. I got them on one great sale for aromatherapy. You see, Bath & Body Works rarely put the aromatherapy line on sale. So, whenever they do, you should stock up, you know? Uh, because to me, they're just amazing. Okay, I got this for $5.95 and $5.95. The original price, this body wash is like thirteen dollars and fifty cents and this body cream originally is fifteen dollars and fifty cents so yeah to have a good night's sleep i usually would use this um trying to remember if i had the candle candles um uh i had i think the stress relief candle before um <laughs> I really like it, but the problem right now is in our room, we have the Dyson fan, which I unboxed in one episode, which is also an air purifier. So whenever I try to light a candle, the air purifier slash filter would go on because it would sense that A, there's like some particles or whatever in here. So I don't get to light a candle that much anymore so it's usually just when I take a bath but before I really like the way it smells but yeah uh, the air purifier is good for my husband's allergies so you know 
that's what getting married is you somehow sometimes have to learn to compromise and sacrifice but yeah uh the Dyson fan is definitely worth it if you haven't watched my unboxing I will link that okay okay now if you had a stressful day I definitely would suggest you to get their stress relief this is made of eucalyptus and spearmint I have yet to try this I think this is a, a new thing <laughs> because they usually don't have a body bar so yeah, I'm excited to try it. Really smells so good. If you had a tiring day or you feel stressed and your day has not even started, I, I think I'm not the only one, right? Like I work in the afternoon, so sometimes even before starting my day, I already feel stressed or tired. So just to, you know, stress relief, energize me, I would use this because it kind of wakes you up and you know gives you a fresh start with your day and like sometimes you guys know that I jog in the morning I've recently gone back to running again so you're just tired and you feel like oh I'm just so tired but you have to do so much things I this line is really good the stress relief so I also have their hand cream um, of course, I use their body wash and foam bath. And of course, I also got their <laughs> body cream. It smells so good. So this one I usually use before I go to work or in the morning. Or sometimes if I'm going out at night and I don't want to, like, I just got off work and I'm going out and I want to freshen up I would you know take a quick shower and use this and not the sleep of course so basically I only use the sleep when I'm really about to sleep and I have nothing else to do this one I use when I have to do something and I have quite a bit of stock still in my bathroom but yeah that's it and one of the newest lines is this um one with the hemp seed oil and it's basically restore is what they call it and yeah obviously since i like it so much as well i like the smell it has sage oil and mint oil i got the foam bath <laughs> as well as the body cream and yeah this one is almost out so I've had it before the same time as this and I bought it at the normal price. I'm looking out for their um, event soon. I wish it would always involve the aromatherapy line, but sad to say that does not happen. So the Restore, I usually use it interchangeably with the stress relief. They actually kind of smell the same, kind of, because this has mint and this has eucalyptus and spearmint. So this one I told you, stress relief, I use when I have a long day ahead or after a long day and I have to go out. Restore on the other hand, I usually just use it when I want to go to the mall or something like that, just anytime. Honestly, these two I use interchangeably. These are the things that I live by. And of course, we girls, ladies, women, have always or have to always try something new <laughs> so this is like their newest stuff and Bath and Body Works um, I got the body creams for both of them it's a hot spring spa it's made of eucalyptus, lemon, cedar, wood to calm and clear your mind <laughs> okay in English I mean is my mind always just in chaos or a mess that I need something that would calm and clear my mind all the time maybe I don't know so I got this it smells really good and this one is sunrise yoga it's made with mandarin spearmint juniper to inspire balance and vitality so in the morning again I don't know I just got them to try them I got the moisturizers because honestly I use up moisturizers really fast 
I'm not so big on using perfume or cologne or whatever. It's really the moisturizers that I'm kind of addicted to that I have to have a lot of them because I is I use them up so fast. And yeah, I'm excited to try this too. But all this three that you know grouped together here, I use all the time, and I definitely would recommend when you need a day off to yourself. Um, I've always liked Bath and Body Works because they do smell good and I feel like they're really reasonable um, compared to L'Occitan. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know how you pronounce it. But that one smells really good too. But it's on definitely a pricier side. Uh, this one, especially when you get them in a good deal, they're just amazing. So yeah. I just wanted to share with you the aromatherapy line that I really like with Bath & Body Works and what I use to somehow relax, get a good night's sleep and maintain myself <laughs> and have some me time because sometimes we just have to. So how about you guys? Do you like moisturizers? Do you like body wash? It's like taking bath or are you just like a shower type of person or both? And how often do you like take nice long warm baths or you're just always like, you know, just shower type of person? And which bath and body line do you like? Oh, before I really liked the white citrus. I've grown out of it. I mean, I have a love-hate relationship with it now. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But before I was like really obsessed with it, that I met this aromatherapy line and I just been like consistently using them um my husband likes the sweet smell kind of stuff so whenever they have like that gingerbread scent or like strawberry shortcakes scent i sometimes would get it for him because i know he likes the, it's the smell but personally i'm the type of person who just like it smelling fresh you know so i gravitate towards more those scent that's why i'm into this aromatherapy line so yeah some people like the fruity scent some people like the flowery scent some people like me just like it like fresh or some would like the sweet scent so tell me which scent or like type of perfume or notes you actually like and i'll see you guys again next time bye